You're watching News 3, the Southern Illinois News Leader, live from WSIL-TV in high definition. News 3 starts right now. Five shots fired, four down at the hospital at Marshall. A gunman opens fire inside a Kentucky high school, killing two students and injuring more than a dozen others. Dealing with those that are killed, injured, traumatized, I pray for those first responders that had to go and witness this. Tonight, a community in shock and mourning turns to prayers for comfort. It was very scary. Like, you don't know what to think. Good evening, everyone. What began as a typical day in Marshall County, Kentucky, ended in tragedy. The community tonight grieving the loss of two young lives. You see the pictures there. That is after authorities say a teenager walked into the high school and opened fire. New information tonight, Kentucky troopers now saying 20 people were affected. Two students died after being shot. They've been identified as Bailey Holt and Preston Cope, both 15 years old. 18 others were injured tonight. We learned they age and range in age from 14 to 18 years old. And Kentucky State Police confirmed that the suspect is a 15 year old male student. They arrested him and expect he will be charged with murder and attempted murder. Now here is a closer look at where the shooting took place. It happened right here. This is Marshall County High School. It's in Benton, Kentucky, and that is just about 25 miles south of Paducah. Here's a breakdown of when today's events unfolded. Authorities say the shooter walked into the school just before 8 a.m. and opened fire. The first 911 call came in two minutes later and police were on scene by 806. Now those first responders got some terrifying calls from dispatchers as shots rang out inside the school. Marshall County High School active shooter. People down, one unresponsive to the shooter still on their in as far as they know, it's one shooter. He is still on scene. We got one uh, shot in the head, one to the back, one to the abdomen. Are you copying? We need a helicopter. And, and now, Kentucky's Governor Matt Bevin called the incident heartbreaking when giving details of the shooting at a press conference this afternoon. He had to hold back tears. Respect the fact. that these children belong to this community and to specific families in this community. And this is a wound that is going to take a long time to heal. And for some in this community will never fully heal. We do have team coverage tonight of how the community is responding to the deadly shooting. News 3's Hannah Gabrasolasi joins us from Marshall County High School. And Brandon Morano is at the North Marshall Middle School, just a few miles from the scene of the shooting. We do start tonight, though, with Hannah. Hannah, just how is the community coping with this tragedy? We spoke with several people in the community. Many of them are still in shock after learning about that shooting. They tell me this is a quiet neighborhood and a great school system. They couldn't believe to hear about the horrific scene that played out just behind those school doors. And tonight, many of them are extending prayers and doing everything they can to support the victims. Family members and friends in Marshall County are in shock. It was very scary. Like, you don't know what to think. It's your worst fears, you know. Just chaos. It's such a small town for all these things to be happening. Well, obviously, this is, you know, a nightmare situation. Emotions running high after a student opened fire at Marshall County High School, leaving two dead and more than a dozen wounded, according to officials. Witnesses tell us dozens of students ran out of the school after they heard gunshots, searching for safety at a nearby church and businesses next door. And I looked out the window and I saw the kids kind of running down the road and people were screaming. Some of them were crying. Uh, some of our teachers came in and, and prayed with some of them. Seeing the look on these kids' faces this morning, it, it, was, a, it was shock. You know, this, is, this had not set in for them. Church is also where many went in search of comfort Tuesday night. Something you don't think you'd ever get. Mark Ray is a preacher at Benton Church of Christ and a parent of two students who attend the high school. His son texted him right after the shooting, letting him know he was okay. Just a few minutes earlier, you know, you'd hug, well, I hugged them both and told them I loved them as they went off. And then a few minutes later, you get that text. Ray tells me one of the shooting victims is a member at his church. Then just the tragedy of finding out one of your members isn't safe and uh, running up to go see him. 
and uh, pray with his family. Ray says that student is recovering at a hospital in Nashville. Jesus. Ray and other church leaders across western Kentucky opened their doors to hold prayer vigils in wake of the shooting. Be a light to the community and do whatever we can to help folks. And this is a tough time. It's going to take a while to get over it. The Marshall County Superintendent released a statement tonight calling the faculty and staff here at this high school courageous. In addition to those vigils held tonight, there will be others and many resources available throughout the rest of this week for those in the community. Church leaders tell me they will have several counselors on site. Reporting from Marshall County, Hannah Gebra Selassie, News 3. And a strange twist to this incident, sheriff's deputies in Paducah are investigating after a student at Tillman High School confessed to today's shooting and then threatened another student. Deputies say a 17-year-old girl told school officials an acquaintance took responsibility for today's shooting in Marshall County, then told her, quote, and you're next. Authorities found the suspect in Mattoon, Illinois. They say he was in no way connected to today's shooting. Charges, though, are pending against that suspect. Meantime, Marshall County High School only has about 1,300 students. Tonight, everyone in that small community is mourning the biggest heartbreak they've possibly ever felt. And we continue our team coverage tonight there with News 3's Brandon Morano sharing the relief some parents got when they found their kids were safe. Parents, students, first responders, pastors, and everyone else I talked to in the community today agrees that it's the worst tragedy this community's ever seen. And as parents came to North Marshall Middle School to pick up their kids today, that tragedy was just sinking in. It's one of the toughest times people in the small town of Benton, Kentucky have ever faced. Times that for some require lots of prayers. Yes, yes, prayers, yes. From local pastor Mike Farmer. What I saw in there was uh, parents uh, wanting to see their children's faces desperately. And uh, all I know to do with them is pray with them, uh, give them encouragement, and uh, remind them uh, of a place called heaven. Well, I, I would have never thought in a million years that something like this would, would occur. To first responder Dalton Lucas who attended North Marshall Middle School and Marshall County High School. I mean, you never think it's going to happen here. I mean, I know it's happened to, you know, Heath High School 20 years ago and uh, some other schools around uh, around the United States, and but uh, you never think it's going to happen at home. To Marshall County High teacher and father David Morris. And I don't know the answer to how to stop it again. Morris and most of Marshall County questioning why a 15-year-old student would open fire at the high school. It's the scariest phone call I've got this morning. Ever, probably. A phone call received by more than a thousand parents. So thankful. Just so thankful. Thank you, God. Just thank you, God. Letting them know their child was safe. Just glad my daughter's safe, <laughs> to be totally honest with you. With his daughter safe, Morris says it's now time to remember those who didn't survive. And I, I'm praying for the families who have got injured kids. And pray for those still fighting to stay alive. I'm sure there'll be a lot of counseling in future days. Uh, but uh, one thing that I do as a pastor is, is I, I try to encourage folks, please don't take each other for granted. Something Farmer hopes will be hard to do after seeing families hold each other in their arms. For me, uh, it was a picture of heaven. The old Pepsi bottling plant in Benton, Kentucky will provide those grief counseling sessions for people affected by Tuesday's shooting. In Benton, Kentucky, Brandon Morano, News 3.